Now this weekend is the first leg of the semi-finals of the MTN8, which will of course see Orlando Pirates playing host to the current reigning champions of the MTN8 in Mamelodi Sundowns, while Kaiser Cheese will take on Amazulu at the FNB Stadium. To help us preview this match, we have soccer legends joining us. Former Mamelodi Sundowns captain and SABC sports analyst Shlompo Gegane, as well as the former treble winning Orlando Pirates captain Lakili Khwate. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us this morning welcome to sports and morning live oh thank you to olivia's at home let me start with you uh, mamelody sundowns really seem like they've wanted to have the sort of start they had last season they are at the top of the log yeah. do you think it's possible for them to go to soweto and come back with the positive results tomorrow mm, i think they stand a chance of, of, of winning matches um they've got players that can do the job, um, you know, in every department. Yeah, we just saw they've signed the goalkeeper, quality goalkeeper, which I believe the, the competition, unfortunately, is going to be very tight for other goalkeepers. But more than anything, I think they stand a chance because they haven't changed much in terms of personnel in the team. Um, they've been trying to keep the same team that has been performing for, for them throughout the seasons. And I believe with the strikers and uh, the spine of the team, if you don't change much, you, you stand a chance. Um, I'm quite um, interested in, in, in seeing what's going to uh, come out in, in Orlando. I know it's not a, an, an easy fixture. Mm. I never used to look uh, forward to, to play against Paris myself. I know well, it goes good. <laughs> it's good in show. It's good in Sagaika. It's good in Sagaika. I can tell you, it's very difficult when you're there. And I, don't, I didn't like the, the, the environment when you're there. Of course, we, do, uh, we dominated that space, of yes. course. But it wasn't easy. I know it, it's not going to be easy for Sundowns. Like, let me bring you into the discussion. We speak about this good, this Agama means it. And uh, we've seen Coach Jose Riviero arrive at Orlando Pirates. And I mean, it's a very difficult place to arrive at, especially because there's so much expectation in terms of performance. But what do you make of his tenure so far? You, um, so far, the team is doing very well. Mm. Um, all the players that are coming to the party, and I think even the previous games that they played, you showed that you know what, they mean business. Um, Compared to previous seasons where we were considering lousy goals, no scoring goals, everything has changed. You know, they play as a, they play like as a team, attack, defend as a team. And I mean, you know, because of they score goals, and I think credit must go to yes, the coach, technical team, and not forgetting to mention the chairman, like bringing Kemit, and yeah, um, we had a meeting with him, mm -hmm. and I said they must bang goals. You know, his job mm -hmm. is to bang goals, and for me, it's my wish to see. Kimmich starting on Saturday. What? And Kermit would also have somewhat of a point to prove against Sundowns. Obvious. Prove ya. Prove ya. Yeah, uh -huh. I want to score. Uh, okay, uh, against uh, Sundowns, uh, yeah. I was going to score. Respect. You know, I was I'm watching some of Kimmich's highlights against Sundowns. <laughs> Most of uh, 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 the games that we played against Sundowns, mm. he scored not only beautiful goals, no, no, no. Not only did he score, but he scored beautiful goals. Beautiful. Something else I want to touch on before we run out of time is the other semi-final clash, which we're going to see where Amakosi will be, of course, hosting mm. Amazulu. Let's talk about Amazulu. I mean, we've seen them do fairly well under Brandon Tutor. Yeah. What is it, Lompa, for you that has impressed you with their performance this season? And what areas would you say are a cause for concern going into this clash against Kaiser Chiefs? I think level of consistency for, from, from players. For me, I think it, I should uh, take ahead. So for, 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 for the coaches, you can tell that is a very well coached team. Um, mm -hmm. Looking at the, the number of, 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 of personnel that brought to the team, I was very concerned in the beginning of the season, I don't want to lie, when they brought so many players, 15 players, mm -hmm. and I was like, what? Uh, when are they going to get time to gel together? But looking at the way they performed them, uh, against, against, um, you know, against Sundowns over the weekend, I was, like, I was so impressed and I, I believe they deserved to, you know, a point there. So I think this is uh, a tournament where we can say form doesn't really, really guarantee to win matches. So we, we, we know that mm. uh, there's full of surprises. You'll find that the team that we're speaking about now, Mazulu, can, can, can go uh, all the way and lift the trophy. So uh, all I'm trying to tell you is this is a tournament that is, needs goals. You don't, you don't have to concede if you want to win the tournament. And as you don't want to concede um, goals, like it, let's talk about Kaiser Cheese. They've also had somewhat of an inconsistent start to the season, but we all call them the cup specialists. I don't know if that sticks so true of late, but can they put together a solid team and give us a solid performance and possibly 
find themselves getting into the final of a cup that's evaded them for some time now? You know, there's a difference between a cup game and a, li a, a league game. Mm. Yes, mm. league game, they concede goals, but coming to go to uh, a cup game, um, I think even the coach, you know, he's going to work hard on his defense not, not to concede. Yes, Trumpo mm. said, um, this cup, you don't have to concede goals. Mm. And I know very well we went to... Um, we yes. played against Sundowns, yes, Orlando, yes, yeah, Orlando yes, Stadium, they scored two yeah, goals. No, so half time we were so curious and say you. <laughs> but after that we managed to score, you know, the dead goal and we went to them. Yeah, Even them. Let her head heal it. Yes, we, we, we <laughs> see. But I had to because of, they didn't want to, they didn't want to open, no one worry, you know, to concede at home. Yeah. You know, when you score goal away, yeah. it's true. And yeah. it's difficult, you know, to, to, to concede goals. Um, to concede goals at, 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 home. at home. Yeah, you make sure that you close the shop. But if you close the shop, I never could no goal. Mm. So, you know, the, this trophy is all about not conceding goal yeah, at home. And you must make sure that you score goals. Yeah. Indeed. Now, gentlemen, before I do let you go, before I wrap up with you, I'd like to get score predictions. Oh, yeah. Score predictions <laughs> of who's going to win. Let's start with you. I'm going to start with you, Lucky. Yeah, Let's start very with very the bad. Orlando Pirates Sundowns game. Who's taking that one? 2-0 to Orlando Pirates. 2-0 Orlando Pirates. Kiza Chiefs. 1-0 um, to Kiza Chiefs. 1-0 to Kiza Chiefs. So, are you one of those people that's looking forward to a Pirates Chiefs final? Yo, you know what? I'm looking forward for a derby. It's been long not um, um, seeing a, a, a final of a derby. I remember 20, 20, 12, and 2014. The atmosphere, we can't wait to, to see Parrot uh, facing uh, Kaiser Chiefs in the final. Yeah, oh. unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> they will spoil the party, the Sundowns, and I know Sundowns will go to the final with whoever. Who? But I just, who? Want who? I, who? To, I just want Chiefs to be in the final <laughs> so, that, <laughs> so that they can receive another four. So ah. be that. <laughs> okay, so Sean, for basically your position is Saturday, first leg. Pirates, Sundowns, you saying Sundowns is going to win? Well, uh, I see a 0-0 zero, zero match in okay. Orlando. And, and in going to Pulguani, second leg, remember? Uh, I see Sundowns <laughs> winning 2-0, that one. Okay. Walk, walk in the park. <laughs> and for Kaiser Chiefs and Amazuru? Um, I think uh, Chiefs need to win the match, mm -hmm. unfortunately, because the tech says they are a big team. Mm -hmm. So in the tournament, uh, we just want to see a big team in the final. So, unfortunately, they will lose in the final, but they need to be in the final. <laughs> I love that level of confidence. Gentlemen, thank you so much for your time this morning. Oh, thank you so, thank you so much. much. And when we do actually look at the MTN8 tournament, the most successful club in that is actually Orlando Pirates, having won it three times already. But it is going down this weekend. First semi-final clash, it is Orlando Pirates up against Mamelodi Sundowns. And then on Sunday, we will see Amakosi hosting Amazuru.